You know, I think commitment is something that doesn't appeal to us initially often. It scares a lot of people even. Because I think commitment to Jesus in particular can feel a lot like it's us just kind of giving up what we would naturally want to do um, in order for something that we're, we're not really sure exactly what um, is going to be coming next or what we're going to be doing with our commitment or what that's going to look like for us. Um, but commitment for Jesus was a lot different. For him, it was this idea of being determined to do the will of the Father um, no matter what. So regardless of what he wanted to do, his prayer in the garden we see was this, take this cup away from me if you can, a prayer of a man who is not wanting to do something um, necessarily, but he was committed to following the will of the Father um, before his preferences. So, And in Matthew 16, he kind of talks about commitment on this daily basis, right? So he says, if anyone wants to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, but those who lose their life for my sake will save it. And Jesus' claim here, I think, really is radical. Taking up our cross daily is what commitment looks like as a disciple. And I think so much of what I've noticed and observed in myself or in people around me is this kind of inconsistent commitment to this daily part of that command, right? So we go through cycles or we're affected by our mood or we do it when we're most spurred on by our community and not first out of this deep love and devotion to our relationship with God. But I do think that commitment for us needs to look different than that. And for disciples, it begins, I think, with this idea of self-denial, with saying, I'm willing to decide to put aside what I want and choose to follow God daily. Choose to pursue a real relationship with God on a daily basis, which will take work and will take me putting myself aside. But I don't think it's all about this burden or this justice being something that we don't want to do and giving up something we want to do. You know, ask anyone who practices this well, and I think you'll find that the trick here is that living in such a way doesn't enslave you as you might think. It actually carries an immense sense of freedom. And I think God set it up this way because he knew it would be best for us in the end. He knows it's good for us to live in such a way where we have loyalty to him, loyalty to other people. And he knows it adds depth to our relationship with other people and to him when we live in such a way where we're committed. So the world needs people, I think, who will say, you know what, I'm in. I'm in no matter what my emotions say, no matter how much I may not want to be in in a hard time, no matter how scary this may seem to me sometimes, I'm in and I want to have grit. I want to have determination to be with God because I believe He is good. I've decided He is good. And I want to be a part of that from day one on out. 